Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Three months ago I uploaded this video which was about zooming in and out with the advanced locomotion system and someone in the comments asked me if I can make a dolly zoom effect with ALS since he saw a great tutorial from this guy right here your sandbox which is a great game developer from Ukraine and he asked me if I can make it with ALS so I made a very quick integration alright first of all let's watch the final result as you can see the dolly effect works perfectly fine with ALS we can even walk while it's playing alright let me show you how I've done this now before I show you what I've done make sure to follow my previous tutorial on the zoom and then you can follow with this one I made an event with two float parameters, one for the duration of the effect and one for the target field of view. To make the effect I used a timeline with the duration of one second. I made the timeline one second to be able to change its play rate. So for example, if someone sets a duration to 4 seconds, that means that for 2 seconds the camera is going to go backwards and for 2 seconds is going to go forward. So we divide 4 by 2 and then because this is the play rate we divide 1 by the result. Then we set the timeline length mode to last keyframe and we also made a variable for the target dolly FOV then I created a use custom FOV boolean and in the custom camera behavior function I set the FOV right here depending on whether this boolean is true or false of course in first person we can't have this effect so that's why I put it here then I set to a variable the distance of the camera from the player and this is a variable I, al I also created and we take the distance between the target camera location which is a variable from the ALS camera manager from the pivot location which is also a variable from the ALS camera manager then we need to get the FOV that was before we activate the dolly effect and set the custom camera FOV equal to it then we set a variable can reverse play dolly and play our timeline from start now on the timeline update we set the custom camera FOV to lerp between 90 degrees which is the default ALS FOV to our target dolly FOV using the alpha from the timeline then we set the zoom offset which I implemented on the previous video by doing this math I won't explain what they do because Sandbox made a great tutorial about this you should go and check it out and then when my timeline finishes I check if we can reverse play dolly which is the variable we set before we start and if it's true we reverse play dolly zoom which is an event that I made that sets the can reverse variable to false and then reverses from end the timeline and that's basically 
everything. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I will see you in the next video.